So now let's see how to work with and enable onion skinning inside of Toon Boom. So here I'm in my Toon Boom window and let me draw something over here. So if I were to draw something like a circle over here, if I were to go to next frame, it completely disappears, which might be a problem if you are planning to make a frame by frame animation. So in that case, you have to enable onion skinning. And to enable onion skinning, you can go over here, you can follow my mouse, this little icon right here on below it, you can select individual layers and click on add to onion skin. What that does is it uh, enables the previous frame as a sample right over here. So you can draw on top of it. You can see that the previous frame is actually showing uh, in red color. So what I can do is I can draw on top of it now with a bit of difference. And there you go. You can be sure that you're on the same location just like that. Similarly, you can go to the other frame and draw on top of it over here. Similarly, go to the other frame, draw on top of it. But you might, might have noticed one thing that the older frames actually disappear once you actually go in. Only uh, the two old frames are being displayed just like that. That is because it is set that way. So if you were to actually go over here and click and drag this right here, you can see that it is actually the set into these old frames. So you can actually see that there's a bit of an animation going on right over here. So in order to increase the range of onion skin levels, you can actually go over here and here you'll be able to see that there's red and green areas where the onion skin um, uh, references are coming from. If you are to increase, click and drag the red hole area, you can see that it can increase the area of which it takes the sample from backward and forward as well, just like this. If you are to go backward, you can see that the green one, the green uh, onion skin is the one that is showing the frames which are forward. So you can actually go over here and increase this as well. So if you were to actually go over here, just like this, you can just use multiple onion skinning, just like that for your reference according to your needs, just like this. So this is how you can draw a frame by frame animation. And this is especially useful uh, when your yeah, onion skinning is especially useful when you're drawing frame by frame. So I can disable this out if I were to play this. Uh, if I were to actually play this out, you can see that that is how it actually works like play this out. You can see that onion skin, make sure that it is on the same spot just like this. So if you have a tablet, you want to draw everything frame by frame, then this really works out. So that is how you utilize onion skinning for Toon Boom animations. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.